Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. As you can see, I have a big parcel with me right here. So it's time for another commission video. Again, it's from Beanie Boy because we always get our stuff from Beanie Boy. He's just an amazing guy and yeah, his work is truly marvelous how he makes all of these. So let me just pour everything out and then we'll get into it. Hopefully this can go smoother than this. Yeah. So, of course, we got another little text with everything that I got. So if you pause the video, you already know what we have. And if you didn't, then too bad. And then we have a nice little text. I'll quickly read it for you guys. Hey, GM Productions. Hope you both, both enjoy your order. It was... It was such, such fun putting it all together. Oh my god, I can't read. And I am looking forward to seeing these figures in your mocks. I've included a replacement helmet for the gunner and the comms trooper that I have done previously. Looking forward to working more with you in the future. Beanie Boy Bricks and he puts a little sticker of his logo on it. So yeah, nice letter Beanie, we always enjoy working with you. And as you guys probably heard, I also brought Max with me, so he will have a shot and pick something out that he wants to discuss first. Of course, all your guys' attention will go to this, but that's why I'm gonna leave this here for now. <laughs> and we're gonna take a look at these first. You guys probably saw the internet or the LEGO community explode when these brick arms, these crazy brick arms were released. Crazy arms, robot arms, joint robot arms. So from now on, the whole LEGO community can make their droids hold their guns accurately with these pieces. So that's very cool, that's also why we got three little packs of these crazy arms. This will be included in our next mock, maybe a bit in Genosis, maybe a bit in the clone base, uh, because yeah, this will make our droids so much more accurate, so it's very nice that we have these. So yeah, three packs, uh, we'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check it out, because these are definitely worth buying. Yes, definitely. These are just some amazing things and we're glad to have them. So now, still gonna get, keep these out of the way for a second and we'll talk about some other very special arms. These are, as a matter of fact, crazy arms and those are normally just plain in one color. But I asked Beanie, my guy, those are a bit plain. You are a very good decaller. Is there any possibility? that you might be able to put decals on these awesome arms. So we got a bent version and also a straight ver version so that a clone can like point at something or he can get his pistol and just look down the barrel with it. Really cool. Uh, of course, I'll be showing you some more in-depth little scenes with these in just a second so that you have a better understanding of how these work. So yeah, very happy to get these. Other than that, we have some decals laying around and some guns. Uh, I see a lot of heavy guns, rocket launchers, um, big guns, also some smaller pistols for captain. So yeah, just a lot of guns as usual. Yeah. Uh, we can't have enough of these. We have a big collection of these already. I think we're almost like leaning towards 100 guns in total. Press them. But hey, we make big mocks, so more of these are pretty cool. Other than that, we have some decals. Uh, let me take these out of the package for you guys, so you guys have a better view of these decals. First up, we got some Phase 1 grunts, 5 or 1st, as a matter of fact, or like, yeah, with blue markings at least. Then we have some Jonek Toys 212 grunts, always more 212 are welcome, because I love the 212 and our collection of Phase 1 212 is growing pretty big. I think we have like 24 212 clone troopers, Phase 1 already. So this makes 25, I think. Other than that, we have a Tiki Bricky Fix. Well, Fix, yeah. Uh, the 2020 P1 Battlefield 2 Arc Trooper. Pretty cool Fix. Uh, I think like I like the helmet the most. So when we decal this one, it will be pretty, pretty cool. Other than that, we have some 501st Phase 1 Troopers. I don't think these are named characters, but at least, um, yeah, pretty cool to have. We have some variation uh, from what I can tell. Maybe this is a heavy one, this is just a grunt. So yeah, very happy with these decals. Yes, and with that all being done, we can move this a bit to the side and we can get into the big package. 
Now this package is a bit oversized to be honest, like I went overboard because Beanie was selling a, quite a lot of his decals and I just hit him up and I was like, man, would you like to make some of those for me? And he was like, of course, do it. I would love to do that. So we got a bunch in and there was one reason in particular that I got this order and that was for this guy. And for this guy, as you guys probably know, in a previous commission, we got ourselves a gunner and a communication clone in the P1 2020 style. But Vinny had a small like error when sealing them and there were a couple of bubbles on the helmets. So he was so kind to get new helmets for them. And since he was making new helmets for them, I was like, man, I love these figures already. Can you make another one of each of them. So now we have two of these guys, which is really cool. And I'm just so happy that we got them. And now Max can basically pick out any figure that he wants. And I'll say a little bit about them and why I got them. Yeah, there are some very cool mini figures in here. Like some of these figs look badass in the packaging. Uh, of course, we'll show you guys more in-depth photos of these clones. But I think we have some sort of squadron of these, um, yes, like more. <laughs> dark green, also a medic from what I can tell, yes. um, dark green 41st elite, I guess. Yeah, as, as you guys might know from a previous haul that I did on uh, Lego Star Wars Customs, I love the 41st elite and I just wanted some more of them. And Beanie had the exact design that I was going for in stock, so I got some more. We have an ARC Trooper. I believe this is the officer and there's something really cool that you'll see right about now with the officer. Uh, I got an antenna molded onto his shoulder. Little uh, update guys. Uh, yeah, so I have a bit of bad news, nothing too bad, but whilst filming this, I was taking out the different minifigs from their package. And when I got out the officer, I realized that we had a slight problem and yeah, like you can see, there are some scratchings and you might think, how is that possible? Well, the really little antenna that Beanie made, like it looks really good, but it's hard to get on camera, like see my finger next to it, just so, so tiny. Uh, yeah, it broke off. Like, I don't know when it happened, during transport or something, uh, but yeah, it broke off. Uh, I'm sure it will be able to fix it, like just, gluing it back on here it's a bit finicky but like we'll probably manage but uh, yeah you won't see it in the video sadly enough this is just so cool that beanie managed to do that and i'm so happy with it he even custom painted it in the 41st elite color so yeah i'm just so stoked that i got them and uh, then we have two bark troopers because as you probably know i do quite enjoy some republic vehicles and I love the bark speeder and I wanted to have myself some bark troopers so we got two 41st elite bark troopers and lastly of course you need to have a medic on the battlefield so I got a medic as well as promised in-depth pictures will be on screen guys other than that we have some more cool minifigures uh, I see some red ones from what I can tell yes uh, even these are red ones yes um, so, so yeah let me have a quick look at which one is which if I'm not mistaken these two are together and these are the 91st uh, reconnaissance phase one uh, yeah, just really cool figures and Beanie had two of these guys, so yeah, I figured I get them. I really like how they look, so I got those two. Then over here, uh, a couple minutes ago, when we showed off the different decals, you saw the Battlefront 2 uh, Phase 1 arc, and that's basically this guy, but already decaled. He had two, and I was like, if you can decal one, uh, it would be cool to like decal the second one ourselves to see how we match up with Beanie's skills. So yeah, we have one decal and one that we need to decal. And then the last one, uh, I am planning to buy drums for this guy. Uh, but yeah, you may be recognizing him. I honestly hope that you do, because he is one of my favorites. Uh, it's not Commander Killy, but it's Phil from the layer on, uh, on Grievous Layer arc. Like this is the guy that goes into the lair with his drones 
and they try to get to Grievous and they need to overcome a couple of challenges like a big crazy monster that ends up killing this guy. So yeah, I'm just happy to have this dude. And then there are just two lonely clones left. And maybe Max can see which ones these are. The type has already been shown. <laughs> also Bark. Yes, Peter. these are also Bark Speeder Troopers. Because I got the 41st, but you need to have the clean grunt ones as well. Like, come on, that's basic knowledge. You need to have both. And yeah, that's basically all the minifigs that we got. So yeah, let's just put them all together and we'll do a quick count of how many we have. And yeah, that's gonna be that, guys. So in total, we have 13 of these badass minifigures, mostly phase one, I think, a few phase twos. Very happy with these. Of course, we got the crazy arms, the joint brick arms, the robot arms, some custom guns, some sweet decals that I can decal myself and a very nice letter from a very nice person. So yeah, guys, with that all being said, you probably see that this is a very valuable little haul. So I hope that you guys love this video as much as Beanie love decalling these and as much as I'm happy to have them in my collection. Be sure to drop a like if you haven't already. That way we know that you guys enjoy clones as much as we do. Definitely let me know in the comment section below which of these you like the most and you know that I'm going to buy more from Beanie, so also let me know in the comment section what legion or which clone trooper you would like to see me get next, because I'm always looking for some more clones and if you have any suggestions you can always leave them below and I'll be sure to answer that comment. That all being said, I hope that you guys have a very nice rest of your day and hope to see you in the next video. That one, of course, will be another clone-based video. And yeah, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye bye.